something just touch my neck. Yeah. Ho, 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 ho. Oh my god, I thought there was someone standing there. What kind of noises come from that little room there? If there is anybody here, make the lights light up. Isn't oh. it? It's like a suit of armour dropping. Did you, I'm not, did you just hear that kid? I definitely saw something move. What was that? Did you hear that? I did, yeah. Oh, what, was that? what was that? Sorry, just touched me on the ribs. We've lost it. So we've come here tonight to find out just how haunted this place really is. So let's get inside and see what we can capture. Come on. So we're in the Grand Hall now, one of the oldest parts of the building. And I've got to say, it's pretty atmospheric. There's animal heads lining the walls all the way down. It's so atmospheric and creepy. We've got an EMF set up there and a cat ball set up here. So we're just going to do some calling out and find out if anyone's listening. Should we make a start? Let's make a start. That is the rain, by the way. It's quite, you can hear it chip tapping, so. <laughs> it's definitely coming down. Yeah. Is there anybody with us? in this hall. If there is anybody here, come and touch the, the little ball on the fireplace and make it go off. Make the lights light up. This light is lit. Did I think, up? yeah, Ooh. I think you might have someone. Ask it more questions. We're not, we're not here to hurt you. Come closer. Come closer and touch the ball. Make the pretty lights go off. So this is actually the room where they see the grumpy guest, which is a, a ghost that they come face to face with on certain occasions. And it's also been seen kind of sitting on phantom chairs in this very room. So we're really hoping to see a glimpse of that ghost. Nothing so far. Slight activity, but... Can you copy me? The heads are really creepy, aren't they? Super <laughs> creepy I, I when it's raining. Them, but like, them in that light is just like <laughs> throwing me off. That one looks like the devil. <laughs> Have you noticed these eyes follow you? Yeah. They like stares at you really ominously. I'm going to roll the ball across the floor. Come and touch the ball and make the lights go off. Come on, 
Move the ball just a little bit, make it light up. Oh my God, I thought there was someone standing there. <laughs> I'm just gonna show you what I thought I saw. I did just, uh, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up, but that stack of chairs there just looked like a person standing there staring at me. <laughs> yeah. That definitely ran my blood run cold. There's a tiny bit of activity on here, no freedom. Are you getting this? Yeah. Stopped. <gasps> Sorry, Dan. Did you, I'm not, did you just hear that kid? I'm not joking, did you hear the kid? Yeah. <gasps> like a little, yeah, like a child singing. Ho, 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 ho. Okay. Is there anyone That's, here who wants to come and sing? That singing came from in there. Roll, roll a ball in there. I've gone goose pimply. Lost it. Talk to it. Come and play with the ball. That was unmistakably a child's voice. Can you kick the ball across the floor? Make it move. I'm getting activity on the MF feeder. Show the camera. A bit higher. That's it. Talk to it again, babe. Come and play with the ball with me. Move the ball. We just want to play, we're not here to hurt you. Can you make, can you make a noise? Do you like to sing? Copy me. I did just hear a little creak. Can you touch one of us? Okay, that's weird. I can hear noises coming from that weird little run there. Is it open? Do you know what's in that room? No. Do you want us to try the door? The room behind the fire. Yeah, try the door. Have you seen through the window? <laughs> you're setting, you're going off mad. Ah. Oh yeah. Do you reckon there's a kid in there? Maybe. Well, a ghost kid, not an actual kid. There's definitely more active here. There's definitely a strong weed in there. We definitely heard the child's it's voice so in that room so. there. Literally Can you touch one of us? I think we should try a different room. Yeah. <laughs> he's definitely been giving us shifty looks for the last 10 minutes. If anything, I think these heads are the scariest thing in here. <laughs> I missed that. We were just packing up to go to another room. Thank you. Thank you. Stay and play, we got biscuits for you. A more unusual ghost hunting piece of apparatus, but we thought we'd give it a try. Well, we do know that there's a little girl that haunts the oak room, which we'll head to in a little while. 
um, and see if we can make contact with her. This room's definitely colder. Yeah, this room is way colder. Okay, I'm gonna take the ball now. What was that noise? It sounded like a suit of armour dropping. I hope. Yeah. Like metal clanking. Yeah, metal clanking. There shouldn't be any staff at this late at night. There's definitely weird taps that can come in from it. It is a bank holiday, maybe she's having the day off. <laughs> maybe. It's now 10 to 1. We've been sitting here for nearly 45 minutes. Still no sign of the midnight lady. I don't think she's going to put in an appearance tonight, unfortunately. Not even joking. I did hear a weird click. Something just touched my neck. Yeah, just as you said something touched your neck. There was a weird kind of like clicking sound. It was just gently, like somebody just gently touching, touching, you know, like stroking. Yeah, all I can say is I heard it. I didn't, I kind of feel it, but I heard it. There's nothing there. There's literally nothing there. Now we know that there is a child that haunts the hotel um, and she's mainly been spotted in the oak room which is where we are now. So we've decided to come in, we're going to dim the lights, we're going to do a spirit scrabble session and we're going to see if we can make contact with the little girl. Now we don't have a name um, but hopefully maybe she'll provide some answers um, through, through the scrabble tiles. So let's give it a go. Shall we dim the lights? Dim the lights. If there's anybody in the oak room with us, please make yourself known. Channel your energy through my hands and give me a message. Tell me what you want me to know. She's 
fill it, you know, look, both BBPs are going off quite strongly. Is there a little girl here? You can come and play with me. I don't mind. I think she's to your left. The left hand side one's going off. I've got biscuits. You can come and have some biscuits if you want. So I've got the letters I, L, E. They're going absolutely bananas now. You carry on. R, A, S, T. What could we have? What was that? That was a creak to your left where the EMF is going off quite strongly. What was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? Hello? Do you want to come and play with me? Come and sit with me at the table. Can you let me know you're here? Can you copy me? The EMF to your left is still going off quite is strongly. Still going off? What was that? Something from behind me, did you hear it? Yeah. There's been a few different noises from behind you, especially to your left. I know you like to play and play tricks. You can come and sit with me and come and play with me at the table. Oh, it's all something. Oh, it's my shadow, it's okay. <laughs> Not really sure what we've got with these letters. Read the letters out. I, L, R, A, N, T, E, S. We've got rats. I've got the name Nell. Is your name Nell? Nelly? Is your name Nelly? You lighten to red now on your on this side of you. Come and play with me now. And there's taps from that corner. We won't hurt you. Both EVPs are giving really strong, especially to your left. We're friends. We won't hurt you. There's nothing to fear. Come and play with my tiles on the table. Did you hear that? I did, yeah. The hell was that? If your name's Nell, can you tap once? It's a tap and it tapped. Oh, something tapped. Okay, now we're going to try again. Come and play with me. You use my hands and you tell me what you want me to know. Are you happy or are you sad? I know you like to laugh. 
because people have heard you giggling. I think I just had a female cough, a noise over my shoulder. Really? Yeah. I didn't hear that. A noise just went. Huh? DE, I've got a blank tile, which could stand for any, any letter. I've got the word die. Again. Again. Yeah. How did you die now? Should we do the tiles? Tell me. I heard scraping. Scraping. Very, very gentle scraping right next to me, right beside me. Was that you now? Are you playing tricks with me? Hey. Come in. Definitely to your left, where you've heard the scraping. From. Yeah, I did definitely hear something. Come and use my hands. Come and tell me what you want me to know. Come and talk to me. Channel your energy. Okay, you've got strong, very strong readings to your right. Channel your energy. And you come and tell me what you want me to know. I'm here to help you. Gent, genty. You should read the letters out to us. T, E, G, N, T, Y. Ten. Are you ten years old now? Is that how old you are? My name's Tori, by the way, if you want to come and introduce yourself. And this is Craig. Hi, Nell. I've got some balls on the table if you want to come and play with them. Anything on here, my freedom? No, they've gone quiet now. Okay. Nell? Come and channel your energy. Use my hands. Come and give me a message. She's coming back to your left. Come and give me a message. You seem very friendly. I've got the letters R, E, E, O, I, X, O, L, U, and S. C. Can she see me? Can I see you? Can you make yourself? I swear to God, I just saw something move down that near that chair. I've been seeing things out of the corner of my eye for some time now. Just like a li like a like a light kind of shadow, not dark, like light. You know, just very gently, sort of moving. And that corner there, which is over your left shoulder, has been intensely dark. I've got the word C, have I got anything else? Not I sure. There's a noise over there. 
Now, if you're here, can you make a banging noise for me? Try and make us laugh. Or give us a scare if you want. What was that? Sorry, just touched me on the ribs. <laughs> that was horrible. Sorry, just touched me down there. Thank you, Nell. Was that you? I don't know if I like that. She's only playing. Touch Tori, Nell. <laughs> <laughs> the ball, the ball. Oh. Okay, we're going to have to move on soon now, so we'll do this one more time. Is there anything you want to tell me before we have to go? We don't want to go. Sorry, my tiles flipped over. I don't remember turning that many over. Channel your energy. You tell me, a me you give me a message now. What happened to you? Careful. How did you die? Minor reading to your left again. G, D, S. I R. Keep getting I's and R's out for some reason. S, blank, E, and L. There's something moving over your shoulder. That was pretty terrifying. I don't know if you can still see it. Oh. I don't know why we do this sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what you're trying to tell me. I don't know what she, I've got a blank tile, which could be anything. So we could have L-I-E-S, lies. Lies. I'm not sure. Thank you, Nell. Okay, so I've just moved. Yeah, I heard, I heard something tap. Thank you. Thank you, Nell. Well, Do that was interesting. Her, Do you want to give her one more chance to talk? Because she's still by your left. Nell, if you are here, can you make a big bang for me? Like this. That was me, sorry, that set the cat ball off. It did it, it did it. It was a bang. I heard it. It was behind me. Do it again. Ask again. Now, can you do it one more time? I can hear creaking coming from the chair. There's definitely bangs whenever you ask for bangs. They're subtle, but they're there. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you spending time with me. I think that was quite interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Okay. Very creepy. Did you hear that? Yeah. There were moments in that seance where it was just so creepy. Just give me a look around this room at the moment. And that chair there obviously caught me out a few times. I kept thinking it was a little girl standing behind that other chair. I definitely saw something move, like a wispy yeah. kind of shadow, something. You saw something move down there though, didn't you? Yeah. It was just that that made me think, oh, and then I realised it was just a chair. 
But this obviously is the room where so much, so much haunted activity has been noted. The staff have heard um, the girl, the ghost girl in here laughing and giggling quite a lot when there's been nobody else in here. The room's completely empty. So just to say a few minutes ago, there was a noise from underneath the table and Tori swears it wasn't her and I swear it wasn't me. So it can only be Nell. That was pretty creepy because you can't see under the tables and that's where your legs are. <laughs> so that wasn't very nice. <laughs> that's why the lights are on if I'm telling the truth, just because that was a bit too much when something starts going for the legs. I'm sure she was only playing, but even still, let's not do that. And obviously I got a sharp jab in the ribs halfway through that seance there, which wasn't quite nice. I guess it was just little girls playing. But... Playfulness. But these, these EMFs are just constantly going off. It's absolutely mad. This is a very active room, apparently. So. And just behind me, I don't know if you can see, but the light is flickering by itself. Just to let you know, you're getting still some really strong EMF on both readers. I think it might be my little friend. I think you've got a little friend there. She's probably waiting for a biscuit. No, you can have the biscuit anytime you want it. You can come and take it. You can move it if you want. I'm reluctant to stop the session until the EVPs, the oh. EMFs go off. Speaking of EVP, we do have one running. Yeah, we do have one running. And I was just going to say also, when we were talking to, speaking of the lights, when we were talking to the receptionist earlier, um, she was pointing out to us, wasn't she, where room eight was? Are they going off again? Is it because you mentioned room eight? Oh, room eight's was... most, meant to be the most haunted bedroom in this hotel. And our bedroom that we're staying in tonight is right next to room eight. Um, but the light that hangs f from underneath room eight into the, the reception area was flickering earlier, wasn't it? And the receptionist said that that hadn't happened for, what, weeks and weeks and weeks. She hadn't seen it flicker. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, maybe they knew we were coming. But the electrics in this place are certainly fascinating, the way they keep flashing. There's a door there. Yeah, I think they're, I think they're kind of drinks cabinets. Oh, yeah, it's full of china. Oh, china, yeah. I thought it was a secret passage. But that painting looked absolutely hideous <laughs> with all the children on it in the dark under red light. No offence to any children. What have you spotted? What is that? That's a torch, isn't it? That's a man with a torch, right? Please tell me yes. there's someone out there with a torch. Yeah, there is someone out okay, there with a torch. Right. Okay, so must Just be to secret. prove it, hopefully you can see that. Okay, debunk that. Debunked. That's fine. So I'm not sure how much I believe in the SLS camera, but just for a laugh, I thought I'd put it round. And it sure seems like someone's sitting in that chair there, which is pretty creepy, to be honest. There is that story that a phantom family of 10 have been seen sitting around a dining table. And I was just going to say, this is the biggest dining table I've seen in the property. So I'm wondering whether that fat, that ghost family of 10, whether they're active in this room as well. Yeah, there's someone sitting in a chair. How many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Yeah, I mean, there's enough chairs for them to all sit around. There's someone sitting in a chair to your left. Really? All these chairs. Maybe it is that family of 10. No one knows who they are. So what have we heard in this room? A child laugh, multiple bangs. And knocks. I heard scraping as if somebody had kind of come up close to me, you know, like wanted to get a bit closer to see and like a kind of, not a scra not scratching, but just like a gentle sort of scuffle noise across the table. Yeah. Um, but I've, I've definitely heard a lot of Taps, very just gentle, very gentle taps coming from the corner to my left. Yeah, it keeps going off like there's a 
kind of childlike size. Really? Yeah. I'm, I'm what, getting in some chair, camera. Or... In that chair right there. Oh, right here next to me? No, in sitting on that chair. In like a child, room? yeah. That's fascinating. I'm really hoping that tonight we pick something up in the bedroom with the night vision camera running all night. Oh, that would be great. Yeah, um, fingers crossed.